Hello. Hi, this is Paul from AT and T. I have a collect call from Mary Tompkinson. Will you accept the charges? Yeah, go right ahead. Are you sure? She's yes, she's, I'm sure. Because she's being kind of a bitch to me. Ah, uh, well, I, I, I ex- tell you to reference your tone when you're talking about my sister. Call her a bitch again. I'll come find fucking you. Uh, I doubt that. Pass the fucking call through. Well, I, I don't think I want That's to. That's your because fucking job. No, your job is to sit there and say you have a collect call. There, there is nothing about, oh, she's giving you an attitude, or am I fucking sure? Pass the fuck call through. Your sister has an attitude. I'm, I'm sick of I her shit. I don't give a fuck. Now you got my fucking attitude, you fucking piece of shit. You're just Pass a- your fucking call through. Do your fucking job. You're just a whole family of dickheads. I hate no, you really. all. Yeah, you, well, you're a little fucking piece of shit motherfucker. You want to talk shit on motherfuckers that are trying to make a fucking collect call, dude? Keep on talking your shit. You're just going to get me fucking reality, and I don't even give a fuck about you. You're a little pussy motherfucker. Well, she shouldn't have had such an attitude when she asked for the collect call to you. Um, uh, guess what? I don't give a fuck. That's not your fucking job to make those fucking statements now, is it? Shut your fucking mouth. Patch the fucking call. And she's trying to say shit to me because I have to work on Valentine's Day. I don't Day. give a fuck, dude! I told you patch the fucking call! Maybe I don't want to now after after the bullshit. I don't give a fuck, dude. Oh my god, she'll make another fucking clack call. She'll get another fucking operator. Not if I turn off her payphone. Oh my god, like I fucking care, dude. Well, sounds I like know you she care. Left my house. I know where she lives. If I need, I will drive the route that she fucking takes. I don't give a fuck about you, and I don't give a fuck about your little fucking service too. And now that I know it's through the fucking clack call, then yes, I will have her follow her fucking records and see what director she or. Operator, I should say. You can't even you talk, right? Fucking shit, but a little fucking little pussy with a headset on. Fucking piece of shit. I feel bad now. I'm I'm gonna cry. Oh my god! Oh my god! I make eight dollars an hour. Oh, oh my god! Maybe that's too much for you. Maybe I should say minimum wage, motherfucker. Five seventy-five an hour. You piece of shit. Keep on working this fucking late. Do your fucking job. I don't have to if I don't want to. Well then, hang up the fucking phone, you piece of shit. Why don't you hang up first? Hang up the fucking piece of phone, you piece of shit, so then that way, on your fucking records, it can be shown that somebody called trying to get transferred, and you won't fucking do it. Pass the fucking call through. You hang up your piece of phone first. Who the fuck are you? No, no, no. Say no. anything about any fucking thing. Are you a fucking person that works for the phone company? Then what the fuck are we even having a conversation for? I was, I was, I was just trying to put the call through, and he started yelling at me. I don't know why. Oh, because you want to talk, because you want to talk shit on my fucking sister. I never Maybe said anything about your sister. You fucking piece of shit. Maybe I'll just sit there and say you, you're a little fucking faggot. If you have a wife, she's sucking somebody else's cock right now. If you have a daughter, she's getting fucked right fucking now. Now, let's talk about your grandparents, let's talk about your mama, let's talk about whoever the fuck you want to. Oh, this guy, the operator, called her a bitch. No, no, I didn't say she was a bitch. You're mistaken, sir. I think you're uh, mistaken. Uh, you didn't call her a bitch? You must have misunderstood said, oh, me. Are you, are you sure? Because she's being a bitch. You misunderstood are you me. sure? And if you don't patch my fucking call through now, I'm going to fucking hurt you, dude. No, you, you don't even know where I live, so I'm not afraid. Oh, dude, trust me with this little fucking job with the, hey. on the fucking phone. Hey. Trust me, there's a paper trail for fucking everything, dude. And you think you're hard ass sitting on this goddamn fucking phone thinking hey. you're Mr. Fucking Shit. Hey. Like I said. There is a record for fucking everything. Yes, but you're feeding it to who gives a fuck what he says. I don't, I don't give a fuck because I want Mary on the fucking phone. She's trying to fucking quite call me. For I'm going to turn off your home phone. You're going to turn off my home phone? Yeah, and your cell phone. Oh, uh, see, now you're just fucking stupid, dude. You're fucking stupid. You're going to sit here and try and tell me that you can turn off my home phone because I have... What's that? It's called a right, right? The freedom of fucking speech? I can say whatever the fuck I want to you, whenever the fuck I want to you. I'm going to call my friend at Verizon, and he's going to turn it off tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to turn it off tonight. Guess what? He can't turn it off shit when I pay my fucking bill, you fucking cock. You are so fucking stupid. Hey, shut the fuck up, please. We can run up your bill and make it look like you did it. That's uh, yeah, really? That's, yeah, that's fine, and that's well when we have unlimited everything because it's fucking cable. Fucking first of all. Second of all, I don't understand why there's a conversation. If a fu- you called my house to try to call collect, because somebody's trying to call collect, all you have to do is patch it through. I was trying to, and he started yelling phone. at me for no reason. Oh, I no, yeah, 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 I was yeah, sitting yeah. right here. No, no, I just want the call to go through. I don't understand why we're having a conversation. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. 
Snow plow show, snow plow show. Okay, bitch. Snow plow show. Roy. W- what? W- Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 shaw, go, 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 what the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. Oh, my wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. asshole. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. Like this bitch asshole on his own. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Bird blinder? Fucked in the ass. Hey everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad. Today is July 8th, 2019, and this is episode 568. It's brought to you by Brennan, Six Week Tenure, Arbitrary Alex, Todd L., and Buster Casey. Those are the sponsors of today's show who've signed up on the various things like Patreon. There's also a few new supporters like Frank P. and Michael H., Daniel C., Thick M., Cake Bake Betty, and Brianna and Brandon's dad. Wait a minute, didn't they already sign up? What's going on here? What kind of scam is this? Anyway, all of these people get to hear the extra hobo sodes every single week. Like on Saturday, I did a secret show where we had Sonic employees thinking that Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton could fire down microwaves from space and cook hot dogs on the counter. Here, listen to this guy. Are they cooking yet? Are they smoking? Um, I don't see no smoking yet. Hmm. Huh. My All my employees are looking at me like, what am I doing? Oh, you should just, just tell them. Uh, they're, cook- they're trying to cook the hot dogs from outer space. They're beaming down a microwave, so we're supposed to watch them and watch them to see if they smoke and cook. You're lying. I'm not lying. That's, that's what I'm doing right now. All my employees tell me I'm lying. Oh, they just don't understand science. T- tell them they it's, don't... It's just the yeah, it's a space station. They're up there in the space station. You're lying. Oh, I'm not lying. That's what cor- this is corporate talking to me. It's another Sonic store. I thought either it. It's not a Sonic store. Tell them they don't understand science. He says you guys just don't understand science. Just watch it. There's a manager getting laughed at by his employees. And they're calling him a weirdo and stuff. I think that was my favorite part of the show. That was the Hobo Sode on Saturday. Be sure to check that one out at patreon.com slash phone losers. Last week, on July 4th, I was on the Super Phone Brothers show. I don't know why I'm telling you this, because they don't archive their shows anywhere. It's not like you can go listen to it, but thanks for having me on, Super Phone Brothers. They do a show about once a week on Prank Call Nation, and they've got a Twitter at twitter.com slash phonebrothers. It was a fun show, though, for being so early in the morning. I was also on Dwight's show on Saturday, but I think I was on there for just 20 minutes. I forget what happened. I know I tried to make one call and they hung up on me. You can find Dwight on Twitter and YouTube. I'll put links in the show notes at snowplowshow.com. Hello, this is Ruthie. Hey, Ruthie. It's your neighbor, Roy. Over on Gin. Who is this? It's Roy, your neighbor. I live in the Blue House. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I was just wondering, can you, like, maybe turn off your Wi-Fi? It keeps giving my dog radiation poisoning. Turn off the Wi-Fi? Yeah, you know, for your internet. It's giving my dog radiation poisoning. Uh, I keep having to give my dog, like, have... iodine pills and stuff. Okay. You, you got your... We'll do the... Huh? 
I mean, we use it all the time. I, I, is how do we know it's just us? I, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely you. I got a, a a Geiger counter and directional stuff. I, I don't know. I'm just pretty sure it's you. Your your uh, Wi-Fi is giving my dog radiation poisoning, like a lot of it. We've had him checked out. Maybe I, I don't mean to be rude if it's not, but is this a joke? Oh no, no, I would not kid. Like, is I'm a Christian. Okay, um, this is a first, I have to tell you. I will talk about it with my husband, and yeah. Okay, well, do you think he'll turn it off? Because, I don't know. My well, I mean, the internet, like, that's our internet. We use it all the time, so yep. I, I'm i not sure. Well, just turn off the Wi-Fi. I've never heard of such a... Just stop. <laughs> I'm stop sorry? It. Just turn off the Wi-Fi part of it. I think you've got it set up too high or something. Can you at least turn it down? Um, I will talk to my husband and we'll see what we can do. All right. Well, you know, I, I don't want to have to go the legal route if he's not going to do it. I just don't want my dog to get radiation poisoning. Okay. I, I don't either. So, yeah. yeah. But thanks for the phone call. What are you guys, cat people or something? No. Well, yeah, we're all animal people. But thank you for the phone call. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. That was an idea from the PLA Discord in the Prank Call Idea Factory channel. It's the most recent one. Call as someone's neighbor and tell them their Wi-Fi is giving your dog radiation poisoning every time you take them out. And I tried calling a bunch of people off of this one list, and that's the only lady I can get to pick up. So I'm going to stop doing this one for now, and I'm going to do requests instead. But if one of the requests is something where I can say that to people, I will do it again. So thank you, Numbers224. He's the one that submitted that idea in the Discord. I've got a request here from someone named Mike. Mike says, this guy sent me this message after his order was canceled because he became abusive to the staff. And he sent me a screenshot of all capital letters. I guess it's a text message. Or wait, no, I think it's an email. But anyway, all capital letters, this is going to be extremely detrimental to your operations there. And then there's about a billion exclamation points. By the time I'm done with you, you will not have business to operate. You have just messed with the wrong person and you will find out soon. If you have a problem with this, feel free to call me at, and it has his number, and then respectfully yours, and there's his name, William. William sounds like he's a lot of fun to hang out with. Hello. Hello, William. Yes. Hey there. Uh, this is Roy from TELUS. From who? From TELUS. I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing your phone number today. No, you're not. It, no, we are. We we have to change your phone number. Your your two nine five. I don't want it. Who the fuck is this? I told you this is Roy from TELUS. Uh, we gave your number to somebody. What do you got? What have I? You guys got nothing to do with TELUS. You no, touched we, my phone number. I'll tell you, you cocksucker. We we we, cha we, we own we own the lines. Don't fuck with me. I'm I'm not, sir. We own the lines. Your life depends on it, you fucker. My life depends on it. Your life will depend on. It. I'll fucking kill you. You touched my phone number. No, you can't do that. We've already changed your number. It's already changed. I'm calling to give you the new phone number. You're in big fucking trouble, cocksucker. I don't know who the fuck you are. Or what the reason is for this? What the fuck's the reason for this? Uh, I, I gave your number to, to another customer. They wanted your number. I don't give a fuck who wants it. You put it back or I'll fucking hunt you down. I'll find you and I'll fucking blow your fucking brains out of your head. No, we, we and I'm not fucking joking either, cocksucker. You fucked with the wrong fucking person here. Sir, I'm, I'm just in a call center. You can't track center. me down and yeah. kill me. Well, that was intense. It sucked that his audio kept cutting out like that. Let me try him one more time. What? I, we've already changed your number. You have a new number. Why did you change my fucking number, cocksucker? Do you we don't even have any business with Telus. I We own your 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 phone line, stupid. So I have your new you phone. You don't fucking own my phone line. I, even though you ported it to a new company, we still own the number. You're just leasing it from us. You don't us. own the fucking phone, um, phone line. Bell does. Not anymore. We're, we're on, on computer. Yeah, Georgia you, goes the fucking line. I'm, 
Who the fuck you are? You don't know what you're talking Where about. Where are you located? You don't know what you're talking about. Where the about. fuck are you located, sucker? Idiot, sir. L- just let me give you your new phone number. Don't me you fucking piece of shit. But you're being an idiot. Where are you located? You're being an idiot, sir. You're being a fucking asshole. Where are you fucking located? I'm in Ontario. You piece of I'm I'm in Ontario in the call center. You just need to. Call. I don't give a fuck to where in Ontario. Okay, okay, you just need to calm down. I want to give you your new phone number. You don't have your old phone number. I don't anymore. want a new fucking phone number. What are you doing with the old one? What's the big deal? It's just a number. I don't want the fucking thing changed. Well, it's too late. I already. Changed I have business. It. I use that phone number constantly. You fuck with it, Mister. I'll hunt you down. I will find you, and I'll blow your fucking brains out of your head. Well, it, it's not a. Business. I got a forty-four magnum. I'll do a nice job with your fucking brain. I've got. And a, I will use it. I've got a forty-five magnum, so it's bigger. So fuck you. Fuck you, fucking cocksucker. Hang up, Bill. Tell that lady in you the background to shut me, up. Hey, you're a dead man, and I will hunt you down for the rest of your life. Hey, tell that lady to shut up, okay? In the background, just tell her to shut up. Well, let you fuck off, cocksucker. Look, do you want your new phone Don't number? Because, you, you know, people need, sorry, to be, you'll be sorry. people need to be able to call you. I have your number here. Do you want it? I don't have any business with TELUS. No, you do. Because I'm through the internet. We own your phone line, sir, and I changed your number today. I don't own my fucking phone line. Bell Canada leases it from us, and then they lease it to you. I don't give a fuck. Well, you better not fucking touch that phone number. You're going to be in trouble. I'm going to, I'm going to redo some research to do. And I'll tell you, I will hunt you down. I will find you, and I will fucking kill you. Why are you so angry? Oh, holy crap. Are you sure, Mike, that this guy really became abusive to your staff? Because really, he sounds like such a nice guy. I can't imagine him being abusive to staff somewhere. You know who he reminds me of is Hunter S. Thompson. If you've ever heard the answering machine message that he left to, what was it, a cable company or some company that came and hooked up all his AV equipment, because I think he was like, you don't know who you're messing with. He's one of those people. It looks like it's on YouTube. Here, let me play this. Installed a new DVD uh, a combination tape player. I don't know what the hell brand it is. This, this is Hunter S. Thompson here. Getting ready to sound like that guy we just talked to. Well, whatever, no, what really, uh, the problem is that when it was installed... Here, let me just forward a little bit. ...it won't run the jams. But second, I want somebody up here tomorrow to unscramble the goddamn maze they made out of my, uh, my sound system. Here we go. ...in my video system. All these goddamn wires coming and going, and I, I can't get any goddamn thing on anything else. Any other machine. Some asshole came in and scrambled all my wiring. Put it in, in the back. A, a, a new TV set I got from you. A goddamn... Uh, Scrambled the wires. It's a KBC thing. What kind of fools do you send out on errands? And I need somebody up here tomorrow, Saturday. And I want some, I want this goddamn thing repaired, fixed up. And I want my original system back working the way it did. I don't give a fuck for this horrible, cheap little machine you put in here. This tin can JVC thing. Yeah, tin can JVC. I get rid of it. But I want my machine working. I want my other video cameras working. I want... Audio, I want everything in there working. And I know uh, I have the names of some people on some sign the repair order. I won't get on you the minute you get up. I'll be on your ass all day long unless you call me at this number and get somebody up here tomorrow. It's 94. Oh, God. That's three. Yeah, 970 where you go. And it's Hunter Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson, and I live in Wee Creek, Colorado. And I, you people have caused me enough trouble. I'm going to, uh, uh, well, Remember what I'm going to do. The question is what you're going to do. If I He's going to write an unfavorable article about you in the paper. Set it and fix by tomorrow. If my, my system isn't rewired. Uh, it, 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 nothing, if, if, if your setup is still here tomorrow night, I'm going to destroy it and uh, write about it. Yeah, I write columns uh, and several. I write about a lot of things. You might have heard, or read my name somewhere. I write about. I write books. I write things that get out and people read. I'll, bring, I'll ruin your fucking name. You goddamn idiots, you fuck up my system. Yeah, you wait. Uh, you, you can think what I'm going to do. Go to any bookstore, any magazine rack, and look. I, you can see what the fuck I can do to you. And I will. You bastards, you fuck up my system like this. And then, God damn it, fuck you. Get up here. Oh, uh, good old Hunter. If you don't know who Hunter S. Thompson was, he's a journalist that blew his brains out a few years ago. Probably because he was pissed about his JVC system. It was like a, a damn tin can. And now that makes me want to call William back. All right, let's call William one more time. 
He probably won't pick up this time. Now he's not picking up. Oh, well. I was calling him from a number that's one digit off from his this time. Like he has 5-5, five five, I was calling from 5-4, and I was going to tell him I was Carol, and I'm the one that took his number. Just wanted to apologize. It's so me and my husband can have, you know, matching couples numbers, you know, 5-4 and then 5-5. Five five. The husband gets the higher number, you know, because he's the man of the house. But no, he's not picking up. Thanks again, Mike, for that one. Okay, I've got an email here with an idea on it I want to try. Mike says, hey, Brad, I am happy to have been a Patreon for a while now. My fiance is very sick. I don't know if I should go into details here, but you're a source of laughs during a very dark time for me. Just to let you know, I immensely appreciate everything you do for all of us. That's nice to hear. I mean, me being a source of laughs part. So here's my prank idea, not left in a voicemail. Simply stated, when the person picks up the phone, continue a conversation as if they're not even there. And in your artful way, once in a while, make a reference to hearing something, but it keeps cutting out. And that should get them wondering, what the fuck is this party line bullshit? And maybe get them to shout over and over what keeps cutting out. I think this could be hilarious. Maybe you and Carol could go back and forth, as tricky as that might be. That kind of sounds like fun. Thanks for the endless laughs. Cactus, cactus. I kind of love this idea. I really don't think it's going to work. What I should do is I should do this later with somebody you know, on the phone with me, because we could have a more real sounding conversation that way. If I have to hit the button constantly between me and Carol, that's probably going to sound kind of fake, right, Carol? Yeah, I think that's going to sound kind of fake, Brad. I think you hit the nail right on the head there. <laughs> so <laughs> let's just find out how this goes. Hello? And I, like what I'm saying is I'm just tired of Tammy's shit, you know, like just, ah, she, she just... Yeah, but you just just don't let her get to you, okay? Just just forget about it. You talk about her all the time. It's getting ridiculous. Just I know, Roy, but like I this this Tammy really gets to me, you know? Just eh. Just ugh. Damn it. Is that all you called to talk to me about? Is just Tammy the whole time? Cuz you know, if you want to call and talk about just you know normal stuff, that'd be cool, but you're just always going on and on about her like seems like you're letting her control your life or something Hello? Re really just did you hear something yeah it sounded it sound like someone said hello hello is that a cross yes, line because you dialed my number no we, we're, we're talking to each other who are you are you the operator no my phone rang i answered it you guys have been talking well that that's like an invasion of our privacy ma'am like i don't know who you uh, are but like you're are, rang my number not the other way around bye are you an operator like well that didn't work out mike but you know i gotta try that one at least a couple more times see where it goes hello that's exactly what i'm talking about with sherry all the time like i see her over at the post office and she's giving me snake eyes but i don't see why you keep going on about it like just just forget about sherry like don't let her control your life man just just let it go. I know, but she just gets on my nerves, you know? I, I don't know what to do about, about her, and uh, I, I just, I'm at a loss. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I guess. Norm totally normal conversation we're having here. Uh, so anyway, what's, what's been going on with you, besides all that Sherry nonsense? Oh, you know, just, just working in the lawn, petting my kitty cats. Doing a lot of gardening. Wall wallpaper in the kitchen. I got some kick-ass wallpaper in the kitchen. But but the pattern reminds me. Fuck. <laughs> she hung up. She didn't even say anything. She just listened like a creep. Like a damn creeper. Hello. Is Margaret there? <laughs> Who's this? Uh, this is Carol. Who the fuck are you? Well, let's say it again. Who are you? Uh, this is Carol. I'm your neighbor. Like, don't worry about it. What are you, Margaret's damn secretary? Just put her on the phone. Jesus Christ. I don't think so. I don't know when you talk like, talk like that. Hey, what are you, Margaret's dad? Come on, put her on the phone. Why? Because I'm I'm her. Fr I'm your neighbor. God damn it. 
It's been longer than. And you talk like this all the time? So what? Like, what are we in grade school? Who cares what I talk like? Well, I do. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Like, mind your own business, Mr. Nosy. Just put Margaret on the damn phone. Margaret, who is this John Carroll? Who's what? Do you know her? Who? Your neighbor. What? She, all she's doing is cussing. Margaret, just take the phone from him. I, I never seen nothing like it. I'm your fucking neighbor, she says. Hello? I did not say the F word. He's making that up. This is Carol, yeah. Margaret. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Oh, that's good. Hey, I was wondering, um, do you think you could turn off your Wi-Fi? Because it's giving my dog uh, radiation poisoning. Sure. Because, like, you, you got it set too high or something. It's It's really... Causing problems over here. Right. I'm serious. Can you please? Like, I'm just asking, please. Who is this? Uh, this is Carol. I live down the street. And your Wi Fi is giving my dog radiation poisoning. Every time I walk past, past your, you know, down the road, he starts acting up. I've been giving him iodine pills. You need, you need to, like, lower the, the tolerance on your Wi-Fi. Hello? We lost Margaret. I didn't know what to do when the husband answered. I didn't know his name. It just says Margaret on this list I'm calling from. So I did the old Wi-Fi thing that didn't really work again, even though I love that idea. No? Did you have any luck finding anything at all? No, nothing. I, I applied for, like, 20, 128 jobs. And I got two interviews, and that's it. Well, what happened? Uh, one uh, one offered on. me Hello? a job. Hello? Uh, but did you hear something? Hello? I heard something in the background. Is that someone talking? Hello? It, yes, it is. I'm letting you know that somehow we all got connected in no, our conversation. There's nobody at my and house. Going, Roy, who is I'm that? I'm going to hang up. Who is that at your house? Gonna, Roy, Roy Hello? Who, who do you have over there? I, I don't have anyone. Hello? It's it's like I like I don't even hear it. Do you hear something? Yes, I hear that floozy talking on your phone. Did, did she pick no, up? No, no. Can you hold? Hello. Ah, like I, every hello? time, Roy. Like, Would, you're always ma'am. Ma'am, will you listen? I, I somehow think... your calls got connected to my phone. I don't know who well, who either of you are. Listen, you little I'm floozy. Going to hang up. You little floozy. That's not your phone. That's Roy's phone. You need to get out of his house. I swear, Carol, no, no, there's, no. there's there's nobody no, here. No, no. I, I would never cheat on there you. Is... You're... Carol, whatever your name is. Hey, how, how, do you, how does not, she know my name? I am name? not. I don't know either oh, one of you. Roy, how Can do you, you hear how, me? How does she know my name? Can she you say, hear me, ma'am? I, I because think I, he just said your name. He just said your name. I want to know how she knows my name. You, this is, oh, ma'am, ma'am. Carol, Carol, your voice is starting to echo. Would it's you, really weird. Would you listen a minute, please? Oh, wait, I think I hear her, too. Carol, are you still there? Would, I you, think... would you all listen a minute, please? Hello? Yes, hello? Hello. Carol, is that you? Somehow. Carol? No, it's not. Carol, no, it's not why Carol. do you sound like that? Well, I'm not Carol. I'm trying to tell you that somehow your phone call to her got tied in with my phone. You know what, I'm Roy? I'm a stranger to you. We're, th we're through. We're, we're through. I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to hang you. up. Like, you got that, like, just have no, no. fun with your little floozy Carol. over there. Carol. Is that, is that Can Rose? you hear me? Is that Rosemary? That sounds Can like Rosemary. Me? Who am I talking to? Well, what are you doing on our line, Rosemary? I I'm your neighbor. I don't know. I have no idea. You shouldn't be on somehow my phone. Your what? Call, what? Somehow your call got hooked into my what? phone. Too. What are you doing over at Rose? What are you doing over at Roy's house? Like you, you have no I'm business. Not. You have no business being at Roy's house. I'm not. I'm not. Then, then how I'm are in you? my own home. But are, I'm in my own home. Roy, like I, I told you, one more Carol? time and we're through. Carol, I, I Carol? swear, Rosemary meant Hello? nothing to me, Carol. It was just a one-time no. thing. Hello. It'll never happen again, I'm, I promise. Me and Rosemary, we got caught up in the heat of the moment, 
And you know what? One... You... <laughs> what is this crap? <laughs> one thing led to another, and next thing you know, <laughs> lie, we're, lie, we're just lie. going going lie, at lie. it. Yeah, I've heard all of this before, Roy. Like, I, I'm just I'm finished. It's over. I'm I'm gonna hang up on you. No, please don't do that because you're you're choosing him wrongly. Come on. Come on, Carol. To, please, just give me one more You're chance. You're choosing him wrongly. Rosemary wasn't even a good, a good lay. Why are you doing this, whatever your name is? Is that you asking me what, why I'm doing this, or is that Rosemary? It's hard to tell you two apart. That was Rosemary. Like, you should know. She's right there at your house. No, I am in she, my own home, she's, and somehow all our phones got connected. She's just now leaving. She's getting dressed. Jeez. Who are you kidding? He's uh, lying, Carol. R Rosemary, look, <laughs> the gig is up. She she knows about us. We just need to come uh -huh. clean. Uh-huh. Yeah. You are a disgusting yeah. man, Roy. You're disgusting. I can't believe... I'm beginning to agree with you, Carol. <laughs> I'm going to hang up now. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, well, just... You don't even have to leave this house. Just stay over there. Okay, there she goes. I started that one off with a script. I went to scriptreadpro.com and just pulled up some random script about a girl trying to find a job. I was going to read from that for a while, but Rosemary kept interrupting us, so I just had to go off script. Let's try that again, see what happens. Hello? And then one of them offered me a job in Hong Kong, and I'm like, look, lady, no, I'm, I'm too old to be working in Hong Kong. Fuck. Hello? And that's all they had available, so I, I turned it down. Got my family to think about. I can't be going, moving to Hong Kong. I live in Washington. Well, what about the other one? Pardon me. Hello? Wait, is that you saying hello? I heard someone say hello. I, my phone rang and I answered no, it. I, I'm sorry. I, I asked about the other one, the other job. Oh, yeah, that one was a real winner. Not only did they expect me to, to be an expert in everything, uh, did she hang up? Hello? I've probably called, I don't know, 15 people at this point, and everyone's just hanging up on me. I think this job script is a bad idea, because they think I'm telemarketing to them or something. Maybe I should go back to just gossiping about them. Oh, also, I just noticed that this page is an example of bad script writing. So that's what this dialogue is. It's bad script writing, coupled with bad acting. Hello? And it's just one thing after another with Alice. She's always, you know, like, giving me snake eyes at the supermarket and stuff just snake eyes everywhere snake eyes to everyone every time i see her at the supermarket hello to whom am i speaking who are you i, I i'm talking to roy yeah who are you well, on our, I think... who are you on our line lady well i don't know rang, the phone rang and uh there you're talking so i'm oh, going well, to hang up well we're, we're, you need <laughs> to get up like who are you, are you an operator no, no, it just rang here. I don't know what the cross-up is, but anyway, I'm hanging we're just, up now. We're just trying to gossip about Alice, you know? Okay, I am Alice, but then that's a little weird. Oh, I don't think it's this Alice. You're, you're not Alice. <laughs> you, no, you're not the Alice we know. No, probably no, not. The Alice, but we, that's the Alice we know is in South Well, And, and you don't even sound like her. Okay, well, whatever. It's uh, uh, way too weird for anything, so I'm going to hang up now. Well, you, you, should, you shouldn't be listening in on people's conversations. Yeah, lady. Why would like, I? Why, why are you doing this? We're, we're just trying to... Snake Eye Alice. That's what I call her. Hello? And look, I, I just want you to change my number, okay? Just stop giving me the runaround and change my phone number. You, you put me on hold forever. I just need my number changed. That's what I'm trying to do, ma'am. I'm in your account right now. I'm, I'm typing stuff in here and just trying to see what I can do. Just give me one second, please. All right. All right. Just please hurry up. I want the same area. Hello? Uh, hello? Who's that? I don't know. My phone rang and I answered. And I don't have anything to do with changing your phone number. Ma'am, ma is that someone at your house? No, I. that sounds like, like Marilyn. The, yes, it the, is. The one who's been harassing you? Yeah, I'm trying to get you to change, no. change my number so Marilyn will stop harassing me. And, and now she's on the phone? What are you doing? Why would you put her on the phone with me? 
Okay, look, I, I just... Your phone rang to me. I don't even know who you are, and I don't care. Look, don't call me either. Okay, Carol, Carol and Marilyn. Marilyn, don't hang up. Marilyn? Yes. Okay, look, C Carol. Carol's, um, she's changing her phone number because she says you keep harassing her. And I thought maybe... I don't if, even know who she is. I, I'm with the phone company. I, I just thought maybe you and her could work it out. No, I ain't working it out with, 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 with her. Like, she's been sending me nasty texts, and I have to change my number because of her. I, I ain't working any... I don't any even know who she is. I don't know how to text, and it's not me. Oh, you, you know it's you. Look, like, just get her off the phone anyway. I don't want her on the phone. Like, you had no right to go and put her on the phone. I just want my number changed. So do I. Goodbye. Ma'am, I'm not changing your number. I just I put you on the phone so you could work things out with Carol. To I don't even know who she is. I've never called her in my life. Goodbye. Ma maybe you should promise to stop calling her and, and just, you know, just make amends. I have say, never called her. Goodbye. Just say you're, just say you're sorry. Oh, an apology is not good enough. She, she, she's got to do a lot more. I have never called her. Repeat, never. Bye. That's the same voice that's been harassing me. That's Marilyn. I know that bitch's voice anywhere. No, come on. There's no no need for name calling. I, I think you both owe, owe each other an apology at this point. Marilyn, you start. You apologize. Apologize to Carol. Come on, let's let's be adults. There she goes. I had to put her on the line with that first guy I talked to today. The one that was threatening to shoot me with a... A 44 or a 45 or whatever he said. 46. They sound like they'd have a fun conversation together. And all I know is I just want Hello? you to change my phone number. Just completely change it on my account. Okay, ma'am, I can do that. Let oh. me get into your account here and I'll, I'll get it all changed for you. Yeah, I, I just, um, I, hello? I don't know can what else to... hear me? Is that your supervisor? What are you talking about? I hear some lady Hello? in the background. She's she's talking. Hello? Hello? Hi. My cell phone just rang and I answered it. It, seem, it seems like you're breaking up. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I don't know, who, I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. I'm just trying to change your number here. My supervisor's not on. I think... I'm, I think I got accidentally attached to somebody else's call. I just, I, I got to get my number changed. This, this Peggy lady keeps harassing me. Ah, let me try her right back. Hello? And, and you say you heard someone in the background? Yeah, my supervisor wasn't on. Yeah, and it sounded exactly, Hello? it sounded just like Peggy. And, and she was like, is, this, is she, is she My there? name is Peggy. Because Pe Peggy's the one that's been harassing me. She's the reason I have to change my phone number. So if, if you're putting her on the line, that's a little weird of you. No, I'm, I'm not putting her on the line. I'm trying to change your number, ma'am. I'm typing it in the computer. I'm going to give you your new phone number. This is well, so weird. If that's Peggy Hi. on the line, if that's Peggy, I don't want her having my phone number. Because she, she'll just start texting me again and, and, and calling for my husband and... You know what? I'm a married woman. I don't. I don't need this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's that's none of my business, ma'am. I'm just trying to change your number here. It should should go into effect hello? and just. It's... Did did was that you? I heard yeah. someone. I heard someone say hello. I I thought hello? I heard it too. It sounded like Peggy. I think Peggy's tapping into my line. Well, she. I I don't. Oh my god. I, I don't think. Hello. Tapping into my your... name is Peggy. Did she say her Hello? name's Did she say her Did she say her name's Peggy? I I heard yes. the name Peggy, but I don't I don't see how she could tap into my line. Peggy, are you on my line? Yes, who is this? You, you, you need to stop harassing me. This is Carol. Why why are you in my phone Carol? line? Carol who? Peggy, th this is Roy from the phone company. You need to leave You need to leave Carol alone. She's she's just she's trying to change her number and move on with her life. Excuse me. You need to do the same thing. Hello? Like, leave her alone, ma'am. Hang on one second. Now, who's this guy? Carol, Carol, is this someone on your end? No, I, I don't know who that is. That that might be Peggy's husband. It seems like they're cutting out. It's hard to hear them. You call him my wife. 
I'm not sure what's going on here. It's, it sounds like he's not with the one. It sounds like he's not with our phone company. Hello? His his phone service sucks. Yeah, hello? you should get a real care. Oh, hello. Who's this? Is this your supervisor? This is Peggy's husband. Can I ask what's going on? Because you guys keep calling my wife's cell phone. Oh, uh, we so didn't, we, we didn't, have no idea what you're talking no, we, about. No, we didn't call, sir. She called us. Uh, she just came on the line. No, no. I think I think she's tapped. No, trust me. I think she's tapped into Carol's trust me. I Carol's think phone. You're watching. Look. No, sir, nobody has tapped into any phone. This is a cell phone, and you keep calling this number. Sir, you need to tell your wife to grow up. You know, I, I'm just trying to do my job here. I'm changing right, Carol's I, number. I'm sorry. What what company are you with? I'm with the, the phone company, with AT&T. What phone? AT&T. AT okay, listen to me, please. L you listen to me, please. I'm listening. I, I'm, I'm just... telling you right now, my wife is not in any way, shape, or form making these calls she's stalking i me. do not know what is going on your wife is stalking but me. my wife is not yes no, she, is. she is not and, and now she's i don't like, even know who this is why, why would you guys get on my phone when i'm trying to change my number like this is not cool I, we I are just, not on your phone you keep calling us she that's needs, my point she we're needs, not the ones calling anybody she needs to move on. You we know, have like, no idea who this is. We, no, me and Peggy had this crazy rivalry back in high school, and she she just needs to grow up and get over it, you know? Okay, I'm on. in my can, 40s. Can I ask you one question? Okay, my wife is in her 50s, so you were not in high school with her. So I don't know who you are. No, my, my boyfriend now, was I in high school with her, but uh, he was dating me when I was in okay. sixth grade. What? Oh, please, give me a break. Sir, what I, high school did you go to sir, then? Sir, why are you on our line? We're, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm on her account. You're you on my line, and if I get another phone call from this, I will be calling the FCC about it because this is just really oh, not The FCC working. has no jurisdiction over us. The FCC can suck our oh, dick. Oh, the FCC has no jurisdiction over the phone company? No, of course not. You don't know really? what you're talking about. The Federal we're, Communications... We're, we're, Federal Communications Commission does not have jurisdiction over the phone company. Peggy's not using nice a, try, a, try a, again. a damn ham radio. You need to brush up on your laws, you fucking idiot. Uh, yeah, you tell him, Ryan. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. If you swear at me one more time. Oh, you're going to call the FCC? That will be a problem. Because I can't curse over the airwaves? I, no, you're not actually allowed to do that. I, can, I would love to have your supervisor right now, please. You need to control your wife, sir. Just control you're both your need life. To just get real, because I'm telling you, you've got the wrong number, and you're the one calling us. I can now, transfer you to I my would supervisor. Like to to a supervisor. Yeah, I, I can Please put you on, right now. Okay, but you're, I'm right going to tell the supervisor you guys are harassing Carol, both of you. I'd love to talk to your supervisor. Please oh, okay, get I have to put you on hold. Just, can you hold on just a minute? No, no, I cannot. You can just leave me on this line, and you can figure out a well, way how, to make how, it work. How am I going to get the supervisor if I can't put you on hold? I have to transfer you. Figure it out. You're at and Okay, just a no. minute. Sure, you've All got away. representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next I'm, available representative. I'm still on the line. I'm still on the line, sir. Just put me on the... Hello? Hello, this is Roger. Can I help you? Yeah, okay. This is the biggest bunch of BS I have ever heard. This what? is absolutely ridiculous. What? You're not a supervisor. This is not at and because the guy that's trying to pass off, whatever it is he's trying to pass off, is lying, and I'm sick of it. What? I don't so know what I you're... Do not get, I don't know what you're talking I about, sir. Get, well, who do you work for, then? I, I work for at and I'm in, I'm in the call center in Seattle. What, what do you need? Well, I, I was just transferred over. Okay, well... I am getting harassed by your person who is swearing on I'm, this line. I'm the one getting harassed. I'm getting harassed by this I'm man's husband. About what you think is going on, ma'am? Uh, why are because there two people on the phone? That's a damn fine question. Well, I, 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 you guys called me. My phone rang. I, I'm just here at the supervisor's office. Well, your <laughs> your people are calling me, trying to oh, say that oh, my, my wife people. is harassing people. My people. Is what, what are you trying to say? Even knows you. This man needs to control so, his wife. That, that's that's all I'm saying. He needs to control yeah. his wife. Okay, I'm like, just going to be reporting. Get this. over it. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! Holy fucking shit! That one was just a whirlwind of emotions.
I need to get another VT3 machine so I can have more voices to do. I bet you that guy is going to be talking to his wife like, Honey, look, you're not harassing this lady, are you? You're not trying to cause drama again because, you know, we've had problems in the past with you. Holy shit, Mike, this is the best idea ever. Let me try just a couple more of these. I think I might be done. You know, like, I, I don't know how long the show is at this point after I edit everything out. Probably not very long. But let's try a couple more at least. Hello? So it's going to be um, three large pepperoni pizzas, one with half cheese, and a box of garlic thumbs. Do you want any drinks with that? Um, yeah, could I have a couple of two liters of do you have Pepsi or Coke? Uh, we have Coke, ma'am. Yeah, I'll, I'll take two, two, two liters of Coke, please. All righty. Looks like your total is going to be $18.38. Did you want anything else with that? No, nope. no, I think that'll be it. Was that someone on your line that said hello a second ago? It sounded really clear. Uh, it was no. really clear. For some what? reason, you've come into my phone. I'm, I'm sorry, who's this? I don't know. The whole conversation just piped into my phone for no reason. <laughs> you know, it, it, it sounds like Kristen. Kristen's been harassing me. It, be, it better not be Kristen because... Nope. nope, nope, nope. Is this Kristen? Well, that's weird. The name on here says Kristen. Maybe it's the wrong phone number. Either that or she's just denying it. She's like, oh, crap, I'm caught. I got to try that one again. Hello? And then just, uh, I guess, like half pepperoni, half sausage with extra cheese on the whole thing? Okay. Yeah. And anything to drink with that, ma'am? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hello? I heard someone. Hello? That, uh, what's what's I going I don't on? know how I got to be a part of your telephone call. Well, who's, who's this, ma'am? I'm calling, this is uh, the Domino's. That is so weird. Um, this is not someone that ordered Domino's. Is, is she, is she <laughs> with you? My phone rang and I answered it. Is she with you, Carol? No, I, I don't know who that is. It sounds like Kanda. It better not be Kanda, because she's been harassing me. Um, Kanda is with I, my mother-in-law. Oh, you need, you need to, like, let, you, you, you and your whole family need to leave me alone, okay? Look, I'm just trying to order I a don't pizza. Know. I don't and know you who guys, you are, but you, you called my phone. You guys are jumping in on my line? No, ma'am, I've been on the phone with her. She's been just ordering a pizza, that's all, and you just kind of showed up. Like, how'd you get in our line? For me? Yeah, you, Kanda. Talking... Did you say your name's Kanda? Uh, my, name is not, my name is not Kanda. I don't know my what name? you guys are talking about. My telephone rang, and I answered it, and then and it said, Washington. Yeah, th this is what she always I does. She, she harasses me, and then she denies it. It makes up all these stupid little stories. It probably is Kanda. She's always who is like, this? I don't even know who you doing are. Doing this. I'm talking to Carol, ma'am. You... Like you shouldn't even be on our line. I, Carol's trying to order a pizza. This it doesn't. Hang on a second, please. Okay. Will you tell these people? Can I help you? Yeah. Is is, is this Kanda? No, it is not. Okay, you, you, your whole family need to just leave me alone. I'm just trying to order okay, a pizza you, here, okay? You have, you have dialed the wrong number. I didn't dial shit, ma'am. I'm trying to order a pizza. Yes, ma'am, she's trying to... Ah, she's, she hung up. I keep getting wrong names. Okay, I want to do one more just because I keep getting wrong names. Hello? And um, do you have the chicken wings? Uh, yeah, we have chicken wings. You want a large order or a small order? A uh, small order, please. All right. And anything to drink with that, ma'am? Uh, yeah, uh, a large, uh, you know, the two liter of Coke. All righty. Looks like your total is going to be $31.73. And you're picking this up? Yep, I'm, I'm picking it up. Was that you that said hello just a minute ago? I heard some man say hello. Yeah, somebody no. named Terry just called my phone. Who is this? Uh, no, I'm, I'm with uh, Domino's Pizza, sir. I'm, I'm just uh, placing an order for a customer. Is that on your end, Carol? No, that's not on my end. Who, who's, who is this? Who, like, who's... I, can, I, can hear both, I can hear both of you. I don't know why the hell my phone rang. Well, it sounds like Bruce. You're not Bruce, are you? Yeah, who's this? 
This is Carol. Bruce, you need to stop this, okay? I'm a married woman, and I am not interested. Like, how are you popping up in my line? This is illegal. You can't be doing this. I'm not doing anything. I just answered my fucking phone. Who is it? Who are you? Uh, this is Carol. Carol who? I'm just trying to order a pizza. Like, I'm on the phone with, with Domino's right now, and you're popping up on my line. I do not want to date you, okay? Sir, sir, I you... didn't call anybody for a fucking date. I've been happily married for 32 years. Sir, my phone rang, and I answered it and said hello. Sir, you don't need to curse. This Go is to a, hell yourself. This is a business line, sir. You can't be cursing Fuck on our you. line. Holy this is <laughs> holy shit this is the best i definitely have to do this again i think i'm done for now this has been a lot of fun thanks again mike for the inspiration and the idea and all that stuff fucking bruce hitting on carol like that a married man hitting on a married woman i'm gonna block this call just leave me the hell alone yeah i'm just i'm all flustered now anyway my my credit card number is four three nine five I don't want your credit card number. This is Bruce. What, Leave what the me the fuck? hell alone. Get, get the fuck off my phone, Bruce. I'm trying to give out my credit card number. I'm not number. on your phone. You just called me. You call, you're, Jackass. You're jumping into the line. Holy sh Oh, shit. Okay. Time for voicemails, everybody. Hi there. This is Steve Gerbalina calling from the PLA corporate office. I was trying to reach a Mr. Uh, Gerbile? Ger uh, anyway, I'm going to tell you to... Hang up the voice. Okay, I'm hanging it up. Anything you say. Hello, Vlad. It's me again. Uh, today, I say I love cactus. It's very nice. I love burger. Very good. Thank you for making a good show. But please, if you shave downstairs, he looks a lot bigger. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a good day. Good advice. Hey, Brad. It's Chaos Cowboy from Indianapolis. That's hey, nice. uh, thanks for running with my be more aggressive idea. I thought that was really funny. Uh, quick Anytime. question for you. We all know that you're pretty much a pre-internet phone troll. What kind of uh, internet trolling have you done? I mean, it's fun to uh, prank call people, but uh, I'm sure that you got up to some pretty elaborate uh, internet pranks. Maybe. As a uh, technology fan. So if you could let us know, that'd be great. Talk to you later, buddy. Thanks, your buddy, pal. And I don't know. I, like, I don't know if the earlier stuff's even funny by today's standards. Like I used to screw with people on eBay feedback? Is that the kind of thing you mean? We screwed with IRC channels and forums. Uh, I remember Free Cycle was really fun to screw with. I don't know. My, my answers all suck. Good day, Brad. Tandem Stacker here. Taking Hello. Taking a moment out of my busy life in New York City to leave a voicemail for you. Great. On show number 566, Kristen left you a Who's a Good Boy voicemail, which you told us got transcribed oddly. So it got me thinking, if I were to speak the odd phrases you told us that Google Transcriber said, I wonder if it goes through Google Transcription a second time, if it will revert to the original message. Well, let's see. I just wanted to tell you, you so good at pool, I lose at global, my Brad's Acapulco. Goodbye. This should be interesting. Okay, so it translates to, I just wanted to tell you, you're so good at pool, I lose it global, my brand's Acapulco. Goodbye. That's it. I think that's what you said, isn't it? This voicemail is sponsored by I Regret Jumping and Molecular Heckler. Ah, uh, fuck Cactus those guys. Cactus. So yeah, I guess your plan didn't work. It didn't translate back the right way. Hey Brad, this is Anthony. Hey, I just caught Daphne. the end of the Hang Up the Phone show on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and as soon as the show ended, Facebook started showing me ads for Zumba Fitness saying to dance my way into a new career with all my favorite Latin groups. And you guys were talking about the Baja at the end there. Oh, and that's shit. the only thing I can think of uh, that, that could start showing me those ads. So I'm a little creeped out. I think you're being racist right now. Now I'm a little creeped out. It's like they have some sort of speech recognition or something on Facebook. Well, yeah. Okay, bye. You haven't heard about Facebook? They look at your shit, they know what you're into, and then they serve you ads. That's normal. Get used to it. Hey, Brad. For some reason, your shows feel like they're getting shorter. Like, they feel like they're five minutes now. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Anyways. All I those five-minute shows I do. I started doing surveys to earn money, and they pay me an Amazon gift card. And I really want to hear the hobo sold, so maybe we can arrange a trade. Okay. And you can buy, like, builders or something. 
on Amazon. I don't know. I wish there was a way to do that because if there was a way for me to accept Amazon gift cards for Patreon or even the the fake Patreon through my website, I would accept nothing but Amazon money. But there's no automatic way to do it, as far as I know. Like this would be a way to get around the the banks bullying companies into kicking you off of their services. Just bypass the banks. Give out tons of Amazon money instead. Somebody needs to make that happen. All right. Looks like the Munchie Boy here. Hello. Yeah, I was listening to the uh, blind uh, Walmart prank. I love the sound effects, man. I know some of them can get the reactions you wanted, but it's because they're, I guess, they're sympathetic to the, uh, you know, with your ailments. Maybe you could call places that people care about your body. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm a guy like Cole. Dropping Andy. things over here. <laughs> Ah, ah, ow! And just be like asking them a question, and then broke, and then be like, "Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go." Yeah, you should probably get better. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let me leave out of his message, and you probably get better reactions that way. Yep. But, uh, yeah, they felt too sorry for the blind guy. Anyway, Rupert out, Rupert away. I'm gonna try that again. Maybe instead of saying I'm blind, I'll say that I got stung by bees and my eyes swelled up. Or maybe I squirted perfume into my eyes, so now I can't see, and I'm stumbling around, knocking shit over. Hey, bro, this is uh, Jorton from the Discord. Hey. I just wanted to say, I'm watching Powder on your recommendation, uh-huh. and you completely spoiled the entire movie. I'm honestly mad. Uh-huh. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you could stop doing that, stop spoiling movies, because it just ruins it, you know? Sorry. Stop spoiling movies, Brad. Did I spoil the very end of it? I don't remember. Probably. If you haven't heard that episode yet, the one about Powder, make sure you watch the movie first and then listen to the episode. Or maybe listen to them simultaneously and it'll be like a director's commentary track or riff tracks or something. Hey Brad, it's Justin from Maryland. Hey Had Justin. Had a quick question. Um, just listen to the most recent episode where you did your blind uh, customer in the store pranks. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought they were really funny. I don't know if Thanks. you're sick of that idea or you think it's over or if you're going to keep doing it but if you do i had a potential ch- uh, way to do it that i think would be interesting okay um, if you do Bring any more in the future try playing one of the the loud crash noises uh, and then like, maybe, like a little like ah! and then like mute your side of the microphone and then just listen to see what they might listen say. to the panic so just kind of like a thing like yeah. where maybe like you got hit by something or you fell over and then you know, your end just goes silent. I dominoed all the shelves over. Or I should just do that for real. See if I can domino all the shelves over. That'll be hilarious. Oh, hey, it's Peachy. Remember how you used to harass me on IRC chat in 97? I remember that. Down my ass, why you have to do hilarious. that to me? Well, anyways, Brad, I hope you're happy. Because you ruined my whole life until now. Okay, bye. Until now? See, there's another one of my old internet trolling things that I did. I harassed Peachy on IRC, but it's incredibly boring to read about now. It's just a bunch of IRC logs. Who wants to read that? Hey, Brad. It's deep in the heart of Texas. Hey. Hey. Uh, hey. I can see that you play favorites and allow other people to be well over 30 seconds, but whatever. Yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to quickly wrap up what I was saying in the shower the other day. No. Uh, call, call up event help and claim to uh, invent... Oh, look at that. Your 21 seconds are up. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cut you off. Maybe you can try calling back in and finishing that one up. Brad, 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 Brad. Oh, celebrations time. Come on, at least Brad's going to be doing some will it flush pranks. Those are the best pranks ever. You could see you're flushing down uh, papers. Because you're, you're, you're a tax man, and you're, you have to get rid, and you're trying to get rid of your papers because you you done the, the accounts wrong, or you can see you're, uh, you're, yeah. you're uh, flushing. You're going to try and flush down some Coca-Cola cans. Okay. Bye. Coca-Cola cans and tax papers. I could say I'm flushing evidence down the toilet. Hey, Brad, it's wasted. Oh my God, I just heard, I just heard the hobo sold the hot dogs from space. That was amazing. You made oh, that young, thanks. nice young girl lick all your hot dogs for you, and she just kept going. I love it. That was amazing. Okay, thanks. bye. Thanks, Wasted Memory. I think your show is amazing. Wasted Memory does a show at Mixler.com slash Wasted Memory. 
But yeah, there was this girl on the last Hobo episode. I basically just told her it's a prank, and she just kept doing things. I tried to get her to melt an ice cream cone under the microwaves from space, and she goes and gets an ice cream cone. And I gave her a big old lecture, told her to cut it out, stop doing things that I tell her to do. I think that's enough of the voicemails for the day. Hopefully today's show wasn't too long. There's like two hours that I have to go edit. I made those calls for over two hours, but it'll probably end up being closer to an hour than two hours with all the in-between stuff that I'll edit out. Hopefully it wasn't too long, though. Thank you, Brennan and Six Week Tenure, Arbitrary Alex, Todd L. and Buster Casey for being the sponsors of today's episode. If you'd like to support the show and hear people try to cook hot dogs from outer space, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. It's only five bucks a month for the secret shows. It's completely worth it. I would do it if it wasn't my show. Dear Brad, I wrote you this letter weeks ago. I've been listening to every brand new show, and I can tell that you respond well to fan mail. I needed to ask on the behalf of all the listeners.